Good day. Many people are unaware that Windows 7 was the last time that Microsoft offered a full Windows backup product. So if you have old backups, we have an article on our website www.urtech.ca that explains how to open those BKF files and get your data back. But in the Windows 10 world, there's a question of, well, what did they replace it with? So we're going to show you how it works and how it's different. The easiest way to get to it is to click your start button and type the word backup and you'll get backup settings. That'll take us over here. And you'll notice that you can't backup without using a second drive. So if you just have one hard drive, as in 99% of the PCs out there, you need to either plug in a USB stick, probably a very large one, or USB drive. So in my case, I've got a two terabyte USB disk I'm just going to plug in right now. Let's click Add Drive, and there it is, and automatically back up my files. Now, if you're familiar with backups, you'll know that that's a very simplistic configuration, and there are a couple of things to note. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10, the Windows Server, we spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. The first is going into more options shows you what your settings are. But basically what you're going to get is your desktop, your documents and your photos, music and a few other bits and pieces. Now let's say you had a folder called, let's just go create one. We'll go into here, we'll go new folder and we'll call it my crazy private stuff. And then in here I have a Word document that is my will. How is that for confidential and important? So Ian's will. Right, so we've got a bunch of files in here we'll say, but that's enough for the moment. Well, what I can do is I can select add a backup folder. We drill into the C drive. My crazy private stuff. Choose this folder. And there it's added. And likewise, if there's something I need to remove from here, I can do that. I can either click, say I don't want my music for some reason, I click on that and select remove. Or I can, I can drill in and I can say I want to exclude this folder. So I can drill in and I can say I really don't want to back up this Inspiron folder in my downloads. I don't want that. And now you see it's getting all of the stuff you'd expect plus my crazy private stuff in the C drive and excluding that Inspiron 15 7000 folder that I have. Just, I don't know why you'd want to exclude it, but maybe you do. So the next natural question is, how long are those backups being kept for and how frequently is this backup taking place? And initially what it will do is it'll take a snap, a, a copy of all of these folders completely. And from then on, by default, it's set to every hour here, you can see. What it will do is it will take differentials. So it won't take a complete file backup. So if you've got a 100 gig PowerPoint file and you fix two spelling mistakes in it, it will just take the differential, basically just that spelling correction. And then how long are they kept for? Well, the default is forever, but the best thing to set it to for almost everybody is until space is needed. So basically, fill up that external drive and when it gets full, start dumping the old stuff. What this will do is stop it from just failing when it runs out of space. Just let the system manage it. That's your best bet for most people. And if you ever need to do a restore, just go to the same place. Actually, let's just do it together because you'll easy enough to forget. So just go to backup settings, go into more options and scroll right to the very bottom. You don't have to wait and select restore files from a current backup. Now, I don't have that disk attached anymore, but there they are. These are the files that it was trying to back up. And I click on any of them, and then select the file that I want and restore it. Now, as far as problems go, you might see this pop up. Reconnect your drive. Your files will be temporarily copied to your hard drive, 
until you reconnect your file history drive and run a backup. You also might see this message pop up in the bottom right hand corner. Your file history drive was disconnected for too long. Reconnect it. And then tap to click and keep saving copies of your files. And that's in the security and maintenance. What's that talking about? Well, all it's saying is that this has happened. I'm going to unplug that USB drive that I had. And now, those error messages that I just showed you are probably going to pop up the next time I log in. I'm not going to go through that to prove it to you, but trust me, that's where you're going to see it. And the solution is, plug the drive back in. I'm going to unplug that USB drive that I had plugged in, and you'll see that here it uh, doesn't show that it's removed, but it will once I click out and then back into more options, it'll show disconnected. There it is, disconnected. Let me plug it back in, which will fix the problem, and there we go, and you'll notice it doesn't update here. That's correct, it's not live, it doesn't refresh immediately. So click on it, and then click more options, and you'll see that it's happy now. But dingo, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you click like, and if you like this type of thing, please click subscribe. It really helps us with the Google algorithms. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's urtech.ca. We'll get back to you within a day or so. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.